Equipping people of faith, that's you and me, to, first of all, challenge consumerism. Challenge, challenge consumerism. 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 That's our national religion! <laughs> that tells us every day that we will find happiness and meaning in life through stuff. Oh, that thing you bought, it didn't work for you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, try this instead. Well, that didn't work? Here, try this instead. The purpose of most commercial advertising is to keep the customer perpetually dissatisfied. <clears throat> so they will continue to try to fill their own personal spiritual voids with stuff. We tell a different story. And that is that we will find happiness and meaning in life through relationships. And there are four basic relationships. The first one is with ourselves. Getting to know ourselves honestly in a culture that's full of self-deception. The second one is our relationship with our friends. People here at the church, people we work with, our relatives, and hopefully a few brothers and sisters around the globe. The third relationship is with God's good creation. Being good stewards of the soil, the air, the land, as well as animals and water and plants. And the fourth relationship, the most important one, of course, is our relationship with God. Those relationships will give us happiness and meaning in life. Stuff gives us kind of a thrill when we get something new, but over the long haul, it disappoints. That's the first part of our mission, to equip people of faith to challenge consumerism. The second one is to equip people of faith to live justly. <clears throat> 